welcome back to the UFTV Sports Talk Show. I'm Martiz Kimbrough, and I'm here with head volleyball coach, Coach Wick. Coach, how are you doing today? Great. Great to be here. Good to have you on the show. Um, so you guys are off to an 8-0 start this year, uh, so that must be a pretty good feeling. So just kind of talk about that, how you guys are feeling uh, as the beginning of the season starts. Yeah, 8-0 is a great start for us, and we're very excited to be there right now. Uh, of course, you're only good as your uh, last game, so we're looking forward to our matches this weekend and hopefully keep the winning streak alive. And you guys had a really big game the other night uh, in Croy against Hillsdale. Uh, you know, it went down all the way down to the wire, so that was a good way to just kind of get the students excited. I'm sure the team is just as excited. Um, so you guys have a big game tonight as well against Ohio Dominican, so just talk about, you know, what you guys expect tonight. Yeah, tonight. Uh, will be a match where we'll need to come out and focus and really take care of the ball on our side of the net and do the things that help our team be successful, which we need to pass well uh, and we need to uh, attack well. Of course, we've got some great athletes that are able to get up and really, um, really hit the ball hard and in the court, and that makes it exciting for the fans and also makes for a successful season. So that's what yeah. we need to do tonight. You guys have a lot of uh, a lot of talent, like you said, at uh, every position. Some young players, older players. Uh, I know you guys lost a couple of All-Americans this past season. Um, so just kind of talk about how it is as a coach to replace some talented players like that uh, with some younger people on the team. Yeah. Well, the what, what I told the team in the spring because we train in the spring uh, for this fall is that yeah we lost a couple All-Americans but somebody is going to step up and be in that position and get those opportunities that those All-Americans had. And it's what you do with those opportunities that makes a difference. And so far, Amanda Winter has been playing like an All-American uh, outside hitter for us uh, this fall. And uh, Shelby Kinn has really stepped up in the middle. And of course, she was uh, Conference Player of the Week last week. So uh, we've had some kids step up and uh, meet the challenges. Yeah, uh, speaking of Shelby Ken, as you said, she won uh, Conference Player of the Week. Uh, so she's starting off with a really good year. Amanda Winner, as you said, uh, we all know it. She's very talented. Uh, Haley Olsen, girls like that who are also pretty well. Um, you guys have a back-to-back -back this weekend. Uh, Ohio Dominican tonight, Cedarville tomorrow. So is that tough for you as a coach and even as a player to bounce back from a game one night and have to prepare the very next day for another game? or? Yeah, it's a, it's a little tough, uh, but that's the way the conference schedule's set up. So we're kind of used to playing uh, Friday night and then on a Saturday. So we take it one game at a time. We really prepare for ODU, and then we'll worry about preparing for Cedarville tomorrow when we sit down and watch some film with the team and talk about what we need to do to be successful against Cedarville. And uh, with the Ohio Dominican Cedarville, they're in the GMAC, which is the new conference that uh – us athletes at um, Finley are in. Can you just kind of talk about, you know, what the what you expect to get from the conference play? Although it's a new conference, what are things that you kind of are expecting from your team and the team that you'll see as well? Yeah, of course we were uh, preseason pick number one in the conference, so kind of we've got a, a target on our back and everybody's after us. Uh, Hillsdale match the other night, you know, Hillsdale's an excellent uh, program and a good team, and we've had some great matches with them over the years. Uh, so we expect to be neck and neck with Hillsdale all the way through the conference season with everybody kind of shooting for us because uh, we were preseason number one. Yeah, with you guys being preseason number one, like you said, you guys uh, battled it out with Hillsdale. So what are things that brought you to want to be, be a coach? Because you've had some success as a coach. You, you've having, you're having early success this season. So. What made you want to get started in the coaching career? Yeah, when I was, uh, I was actually working on my uh, PhD at Kent State University, and I really wanted to be a clinical exercise physiologist. Uh, and I started, I was playing on a men's uh, club team, and I started uh, helping out with my girlfriend, now my wife, uh, women's club team, and started to enjoy the coaching aspect. So. There was a, a random ad in the newspaper about a high school that wanted to hire a head coach, and I was like, well, I can do that. And so I applied for it, and I got the job. Uh, and after a couple years of coaching high school, I decided it was something I wanted to do professionally as a living. And of course, you have to go to college uh, to, to make a living at it. You can't make a living as a high school coach. 
unless you're a high school teacher as well. So then I started uh, looking for college jobs and I was able to uh, land an assistant coaching position at uh, Eastern Kentucky University. And then I went on to be the head coach at Nebraska Westland before coming here to Finley. And I've been here 20 years now. And with you being here at Finley, what are some of the things that you enjoy about being at the university, whether that's the community, uh, the fan support, or things of that nature? Is it close to home? Yeah, it's a, well, I grew up in Toledo, uh, but I only have a half brother left in Toledo. The rest of my family's uh, scattered throughout the country. Uh, but Finley is a great community uh, to live in, and, and I've raised my family here. Uh, but the university itself is very special. Uh, everybody here really cares about the students and about the university, uh, and that just leads to a real uh, feeling of community within the university. And uh, the fan support at our games and, of course, at basketball games as well is outstanding. Uh, and the administration uh, supports athletics. So we're very lucky to be here at the university. And uh, I'm glad I've, I've been here for 20 years and I look forward to being here till I retire. Yeah, I'm sure the university looks forward to that as well. Um, what is it that drives you as a coach? Like I know some, coach, some coaches may enjoy the winning side of it. Some coaches may enjoy just being an influence on somebody's life. So what is it, what is it for you that drives you every single day and every morning to do what you do? Yeah, well, winning's always more fun than losing, okay? <laughs> uh, that's a given. But really, the most joy you get out of being a coach is when you get an athlete that comes back five or 10 years later and comes up to you and lets you know really what you meant to their life and how you helped them develop as an individual and help them become a successful person. So that's like, as a coach, that's like the uh, ultimate uh, in gratification when you get that athlete that comes up and, and tells you that. Uh, but in terms of a day-to-day -day thing, um, you know, we're, athletics is very goal-driven, coaching is very goal-driven, so every day we have a goal and we have to go out and try to achieve that goal every day. Okay. Well, those are all the questions that I have for you today. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Be sure to check the women's volleyball team tonight at 7 o'clock against Ohio Dominican and tomorrow at 1 o'clock against Cedarville. I'm Artis Kimbrough, and you're watching UFTV Sports Talk Show.